I've got a question. Why throw away a perfectly good DI cartridge when you can just refill it? It is way cheaper, it's easy enough that anybody can do it, and you can knock it out in just a few minutes, and I'm gonna show you how. I like to do this in a clean plastic bin. If I spill any resin beads, they're contained and easy to scoop back in. You'll also want a one quarter cup measuring scoop, great for scooping in resin from the bag, a small brush to clean any beads off of the threads of the cartridge, and specifically the 250 mil graduated tripod measuring cup. It comes in super handy and not for what you'd expect. Now, before you start, give your cartridge a quick once over, look for cracks, damaged threads, or tears in the felt pads. These cartridges can last for years, but if you spot damage, just chuck that cartridge out as is and grab a new one to refill. Not all cartridges are refillable either, so check yours first. If it's not, no big deal at all. They're really inexpensive. You'll just want to pick up a refillable cartridge along with that new resin and some replacement foam inserts. For maximum savings, which is half the cost of a pre-packed cartridge, I'd grab the seven and a half pound bag of resin, which is enough for six cartridges, along with six of those replacement foam inserts. Kick things off by unscrewing the cap on your spent cartridge, pull out that foam disc and chuck it, and pour the old resin into a trash bag. It is inert, so no special disposals required. Give the cartridge a rinse and a wipe with a damp paper towel to get rid of any leftover beads. Now, the name of the game is pack it tightly. If you leave air gaps, you risk channeling. That's when water takes the path of least resistance and skips parts of the resin, letting TDS through. Firm packing means the water is forced through all of the resin for maximum efficiency. And here is my foolproof setup for making sure that it is packed tight. The star of the show is the 250 mil graduated tripod measuring cup. Not only is it dirt cheap, but it is the perfect size to tap the resin down in these cartridges, so keep it handy. With your cartridge in front of you, cut off the top of your single-use bag, use one hand to make a seal around the threads of the container, which also acts like a funnel. With the other hand, you can begin to pour the resin into the cartridge. If you're using the larger bulk bag, scoop it in with the one-quarter measuring cup. Funnels like this one can work, but they're not always the best idea. They need to have a really wide spout to prevent those beads from jamming up, which is why I end up just using my hand. Fill the cartridge until you're about three quarters full, then tap the cartridge firmly on the table 10 times to settle those beads, then add more resin until you're just barely over the top of the cartridge. Now's the time to use that 250 mil tripod cup to press the resin down firmly. It fits the top of these cartridges like it was made for this. Give Give it a few good solid taps against the table, and if you made a bunch of space at the top of the cartridge, fill it back up and repeat. Once it's all packed in there good and tight and still full to the top, use your finger to make a shallow groove around the rim. This makes sure that there's just enough room for the foam insert and the cap so that you don't end up with beads squishing out into the threads. Place the new foam insert into the cap, line up the cap over the cartridge, and carefully tuck the edges of that foam insert all the way around the cartridge. Press down on the cap evenly with your palm, and instead of twisting the cap, turn the cartridge while keeping the pressure steady, and it should thread on beautifully. If you did accidentally cross-thread the cap and it's not perfectly flat, don't back it off. Just flip the cartridge cap side down and give it a firm tap or two on the table and it should pop right into place. Then just snug it up finger tight. And that's it, it's ready to go. Pop it into your RDI unit and allow it to flush to the drain for a minute, just like you would with your typical pre-packed cartridge, and then you're back on track for zero TDS water. And yes, the process is identical whether you're using mixed bed, cation, or anion resin. So if you'd like to start packing your own cartridges and putting those extra reefing dollars into fish and corals and other fun stuff, you can pick up everything you need to get started right here.